What's going on everybody and I hope you're having a wonderful day today but in this video I want to be interviewing somebody who does bot lobbies for a living. Now if you don't know what bot lobbies are don't worry later in the video I'll talk more about it but the reason I'm making this video is because I thought it was super interesting how he actually did it and how much money he makes because personally I thought I'd see a bunch of consoles connected to each other or a bunch of computers making these bot lobbies but when I saw it I never would have guessed it looked like this. Also make sure to stay till the end to figure out how much money he's been making over the past few years he's been doing this and trust me it will amaze you how much he's made. Also remember please don't cheat do bot lobbies or create bot lobbies because it is against the terms of service and you will be banned eventually. Anyways, let's get right into the video. So a few days ago, I was looking for video ideas and after getting countless ideas from my members, I ended up finding someone in my Discord who had bot lobbies in their bio. I ended up messaging him to see if he wanted to do an interview and he seemed pretty chill, so I ended up going ahead with it. Now, this interview wasn't done over a call because he didn't really understand English too much, so he ended up just sending me voice clips of what he said. Also, don't worry though because it all is in English, he just didn't know how to pronounce some of the words. Anyways, I'll start showing you guys the questions I asked him. My first opening question to him was, how many people actually buy the service now the reason i asked this question is because it's not something i normally see or would think people would buy too much because this is more of like a one-time thing while people who cheat generally cheat the whole entire time they have their account and he responded with i would say like 15 to 50 people are buying just the service daily when he told me it was 15 to 50 people a day i thought wow that's almost four full lobbies right there but i didn't believe him until i joined his discord and saw a bunch of people in general typing about these bot lobbies which amazed me that there was a whole community behind this also also having 15 to 50 people buy this daily is way more than the average amount of people buy cheats and i would know this because i've interviewed cheat developers before but i also want to know how long he's been hosting bot lobbies for so i asked him how long he's been doing this i would say i've been doing this for like almost a year when he said this i definitely assumed that he's been doing this for a very long time and not as little as a year and this is because normally when i talk to cheaters or cheat developers they've usually been in this industry for a very long time and now that we know how long he's been doing this for with the amount of people or averages per day we can do the math to figure out how many people he's hosted bot lobbies for and that number comes out to 5475 on the low end all the way up to 18250 and i don't know about you but i can't even imagine 18,000 people in one room but after knowing this answer also had me thinking how many other bot lobby hosters could there possibly be? And I wonder if he also gets any competition. So I decided to ask him. I would say, yeah, there is competition, but like not as many as you think. I think there's like five to 10 people that also sell bot lobbies. Out of all the answers he gave me today, that one definitely surprised me the most because I never would have thought that there was only this little amount of people hosting lobbies like this. And especially for the underground market scene in video games, there's definitely been a lot of competition, especially for cheats. Now this technically isn't a cheat, so I don't think there'd be that much competition, but I wouldn't expect this little. But even though this isn't a cheat, it's still against the terms of service. And since he had so many bots, I was wondering if any of them ever gotten banned. Activision uh, never will ban me because it's not like a cheating service and they uh, never banned this uh, bot from us. And if they were gonna ban a bot from us, we have like 50 to 100 bots. So you're telling me I've been shadow banned two times now and I don't even cheat while this guy has over a hundred bots and not one of them has been banned. You know what? I'm starting to believe that this guy works for Activision with the fact none of them have been banned. But anyways, with the fact that he's hosted this for so many people, it had me wondering, has any of them ever been a YouTuber or someone popular? I would not call it famous, but like once a person bought the, for my service, he had like 200k on YouTube. He bought like 5 bot lobbies, 10 bot lobbies, I think. Now, this answer didn't surprise me too much because when I interviewed cheat developers before, they normally tell me that a lot of YouTubers actually do buy stuff like this. So this one actually just wasn't too surprising to me. But now we're on to the part I think most of you guys have been waiting for is to see actually how this is done. I know this looks really confusing, but don't worry, I'll walk you through everything that's happening on your screen right now. So right now you can see 10 different tabs open right now on his computer, and every single tab is a different account on Call of Duty currently playing in the same lobby. And your main question probably is, how the hell is he playing Call of Duty on a Google tab? And don't worry, I had the same question too, because I never would have thought in my life I would see someone playing Black Ops 6 on a Google tab. Hell, if I knew about this back in high school, you would have seen me playing Black Ops 4 in the middle of math class. Now, I'm not 100% sure this is how it's done, because he never really told me, but I'm going to take a guess he goes on to Xbox Game streaming which allows you to play any game from a google tab and as you can see while i'm scrolling right now you can see black ops 6 is right there and you may be asking why does xbox allow you to do this well it's meant for people who don't have the strongest computers and can't run games like black ops 6 so you can be able to stream it online through a different computer but the problem is you can only get 60 frames and it can be laggy sometimes. All right, so now we're gonna explain how all these bot lobbies work. So pretty much there's two real players in each lobby, one on each team, and each player just goes to the opposite team side and then just kills the bots getting free headshots, allowing them to get dark matter really easily. And you may also be wondering how all the bots are moving. Well, there's one monitor you can see that can clearly show the game while the rest have an overlay saying some text. 
And what's happening is that there's a program in the background right now controlling all of the bots causing them to move so they don't get kicked for AFK. Now, I don't know how Activision isn't picking up on this because I'd find it pretty weird if you showed me a leaderboard where two players have over 150 kills while the other 10 players have zero. And also by my guess, this looks like domination because in domination, the match cannot end until the point limit has been reached. So that gives the people joining these lobbies the most amount of time to get kills. They also didn't tell me how much it costs to start all of this up, but don't worry, from context clues, I can pretty much tell you a good estimate around how much it did cost. So from the video we just watched, we could see 10 different accounts. So that means he owns Black Ops 6 on all of those accounts. And you may be thinking, wow, $70 per account? That's a little bit much for what he's doing. Is the profit really worth it? But you gotta remember, Xbox added Black Ops 6 to the Game Pass. And on top of this, you can use cloud streaming for free if you own Game Pass on that account. But unfortunately, you need the most expensive subscription, which is the Gold Ultimate Game Pass. And that goes for $20 a month. So he's pretty much spending $200 a month on 10 bots alone, but there's actually one more thing you have to remember. And it's that you can actually buy Ultimate Game Passes on websites for 50% off or more. So I went on G2G and found out you can buy the Ultimate Game Pass for $9.90 each, which takes this overall cost from $200 down to $99. And on top of this, because this isn't a physical purchase and it's only online, that means he's not paying any taxes at all. And sorry to the guy I interviewed because I feel like you didn't tell me this information for a specific reason, but I tend to figure stuff out no matter what. And I also found out that less than 1% of you guys are subscribed to me. So make sure to subscribe so I can keep posting content like this daily and also join the Discord because you may be in one of my next videos. And I'm also always in general chat if you ever want to talk to me. So back to the video. Alright, I think it's time to ask the question all of you guys have been waiting for and it's how much money he actually makes doing this. But but before I show you, comment down below how much you think he makes and then see how close you were. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't even close with my number, but here's what he said. I think since the release of Black Ops 6, we made around, let me guess, 25 to 30k, something around that. Yeah, there is no way in hell I'm guessing anywhere around that number. And not just that, Black Ops 6 has only been out for a little bit longer than a month. And it also took me a few days to make this video, so that means he's only been doing this for around 30 days since I questioned him. And if you do the math, that's nearly a thousand dollars a day, which is insane to me. Hell, if this video gets a million views, I'll probably only make as much as he makes in four days. Now, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of this sounded really unrealistic to me, so I decided to ask him one question to prove whether all of this was true or not. And that question is how much it costs per person, because if he gives me a number that's too high or too low, I'd be able to do the math and figure out everything he said is actually invalid. And the way I do that is by taking the amount of people that buy these services, and then how much it costs per person, and multiply that, and then also multiply that number by 30, giving me the around estimate, which should be around 25 to 30,000. Now, he said he couldn't give me an exact estimate earlier, so if it's a little bit off, I don't blame him. But this was his response to the question. Uh, it really depends on the person that buys lobby. Let's say a person buys one lobby, I'm gonna make like 5 euros. But if a person buys 20 lobbies, I'm making like 50 to 60 euros. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that really didn't help me too much because if one person buys five lobbies and one person buys one, it's gonna be a different price and there could be way too many different numbers to give out there. So I pretty much went through his Discord and found out majority of the people buy three lobbies each. And with these lobbies costing anywhere from 20 to $30, it's gonna be pretty much around $45,000 at the end of this, which is pretty much what he did tell us. Anyways, thank you for watching and make sure to leave a like and comment because it does help me as a content creator because right now I'm at 10,000 subscribers and one day I do wanna be able to reach 100,000. So till next time, guys. See ya.